on Zoom, go ahead and pull up the chat. And the chat box should be on the lower uh, end of your screen. So you can pop that up and let us know, let us know who you are, where you're from, and perhaps why you are here today. There's some more people in the waiting room, so I'm going to let them join us. Hello, Rochelle. Hello, Kelly. Hi, Jen. All right, if you guys want to pull up the chat box, I want to make sure you guys are able to hear us and everything too. So if you guys can pull up the chat box, just say, hey, my name is Jenna or Tracy or Deborah or Jessica. This is where I am, geographically speaking. And maybe you want to share why you're here. I know that can be a little bit vulnerable for people, but want to make sure that we can, you guys can see and hear us before we, we start talking here. Thank you, Megan, for the type form. I see it on here. Makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> cool. All righty. I hope everyone can hear us. I'm not seeing any comments. Usually you guys are pretty good. Oh, there we go. Okay. Deborah from Alabama. Thank you, Deborah. I know there's like a little bit of a lag sometimes too. So like I have to be patient. Um, Jess says, hi, I am from Buffalo, New York. Welcome, Jess. Kelly says, I can hear you from Washington. Welcome, Kelly. So some familiar faces here, some familiar names. I'm so happy to see you guys here. Heather, you're in Temecula. Yay. Um, oh, no worries, Tracy. So this chat box is going to be the way that we communicate throughout this entire um, hour or so that we're going to be together. I am so excited to do this with you guys today because um, Megan has truly changed my life. And I know it's like a little bit different than what I normally talk about. Typically, I'm talking about marketing, beauty, business, mindset, which this kind of plays a little bit of a part in it. Um, but all of these things to help us grow our business. But a lot of the times I don't talk about like the physical stuff, like your physical health, for example, because I'm not the guru at that at all. Um, so I don't talk about that stuff, but it is so important to take care of yourself and to know how to do that in order to be um, the best person, the best you you can be. So May a little bit of a background um, with Megan and I actually was introduced to her by Rebecca Boatman. Some of you guys might know her from Wake Up to Level Up. She was a speaker at my event. And I started following Megan and I was like, wow, like a lot of the things that she was talking about, like I resonated with, you know, I was like, I always thought that you would have to eat less. You'd have to do like two hours of cardio. Cause this is like what I thought life was to like lose weight. Um, and I got a, on a phone call with Megan and she was like, no, <laughs> you don't have to do all of those things. There's no like two hour cardio with me. There's no like limiting your eating on, you know, like veggies only, for example, and you can actually live your life as normally as possible with a few little tweaks here and there. And so what I saw in Megan was that it was sustainable for myself. And I know that Megan does work with a lot of entrepreneurs. So that's something else that really drew me to her because I knew that she knew how busy we were and are. And so her program and with working with her, it really was customized to my lifestyle, how it was. And since I started working with her, I worked with her in 20, was it 2020 or 2021? Uh, 2021. Okay. Yeah. So I had my baby and I was like, I'm never going to get these like extra 20 pounds that I gained after my baby off. Like, I just thought that that was the case, but after working with her and going through the plan and actually sticking to most of it, <laughs> I was able to get to where I'm at today, which is about 110 to 115. And I've been staying within that range since then. And so I really wanted to bring Megan on and have her share her story with you guys and give you guys some tips on how you guys can really create a good fitness plan for yourself and really change your mindset about like the diet culture and all of that stuff. So welcome, Megan. Yay. Thank you so much, Kelly. And hello to all you ladies. Thanks for taking the time to join today. And I really hope you're going to get a lot of value out of this. I'm sure you will. And I'm sure you're going to walk away being like, wow, I was very wrong about all these things that I thought. Um, it's just unfortunate, you know, we're very 
brainwashed by diet culture were like completely deliberately miseducated and you know if you want to take it a step further I kind of see it as you know this is done to kind of keep women disempowered and keep us vulnerable because a woman who is truly nourished truly strong and healthy really in her power she's a you know she's a pretty unstoppable force of nature um so this is why it's really important that us women actually learn how to properly take care of ourselves and yeah there's no joke that if you start really looking feeling your best having so much energy being strong being healthy your business is going to explode as well because they go really hand in hand um so i'm just gonna have a little presentation here so i'm gonna share my screen i guess and then um i might be kind of hard to see comments sometimes so just kelly or anybody else if you do have a question that comes up let me know um okay so hang on how do i do this here no, no, those of you guys who are watching on Facebook, by the way, I'm looking at your comments so you guys can ask questions as well. And then if you guys are watching here on Zoom, there's that chat box at the very bottom. So feel free to ask, um, ask any questions and I will relay this on to Megan. Um, if she doesn't get to it right away, don't worry. We're going to get to Q&A at the very end too. And this is being recorded so you guys will be able to see this afterwards as well. Yes, totally. And if here, I guess I'll just do this. If you uh, or catching the replay, or just if for whatever reason you didn't get to a fully in in depth explanation of your question, definitely feel free to call or else. I'm very happy to always explain what you got to do to polls or any like challenges you're having. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to get lean, tone, sexy, all these things that we want. We want to look good. We want to feel confident wearing a cute bikini, wearing a cute crop top. We don't want to believe that just because we're like not 20 anymore or because we're, we've had kids or whatever that, you know, our body is ruined. That's total BS. Um, you just need to understand how we actually get that kind of a physique and not only look good, but obviously when you look really good, it's also because your inner body is also healthy. So you're going to look good and feel good. And the way that you do it is pretty much exactly the opposite of what you think. <laughs> Because, you know, you think that you need to starve, you need to cut carbs, you need to eat as little as possible, and that you need to work out so hard, so long, tons of crazy cardio, and all of that actually is really going to get you very far from where you want to be. So that's what I'm going to show you in today's presentation, how eating more, working out less, meaning no crazy cardio, no diets is actually how you're going to get results. Okay, how do I do this? Okay, and then just stay through to the end. I'm sure a lot of you ladies will, just because I'm gonna be sharing a couple of special bonuses um, about things to take in this next week so that we can get you set up hopefully for this coming year or even to finish off 2022 in the, the healthiest, fittest version of yourself. Okay, so this is for you, of course. You know, you wanna look and feel good in your own skin. You wanna be able to wear the cute clothes that maybe have been hiding in the back of your closet for a long time um, and just feel really good in them and not only look good, but obviously feel good as well. And the reason that you haven't is because you think, you know, in order to look that way, my life has to suck essentially. Like you have to do really, really long, horrible workouts that make you want to throw up. You know, you can't eat anything fun. You have to give up your social life, all of this nonsense. Um, or maybe you think, you know, you've tried so many things and you can never get results or you definitely can't keep the results. So I know a lot of women will think, oh, I'm, I must just be genetically cursed. And I'm going to prove to you that that's not true. Um, or maybe you're like, I know that it is possible. There's a way, but I just like have no idea really what I should be doing. There's so much information. Where do I even start? So don't worry. I'm going to be sharing all that with you. And I'm going to show you how you can not only get these results, but more importantly, keep them because I think that that's the hard thing. You know, you can do these crazy extreme things and maybe get a little bit skinnier for a little bit, but then you end up gaining all this weight back and like you feel miserable to even get to that point. So I'm going to show you how you can get lean, get toned, strong, healthy, without having to give up your life or do anything horrible, and that you're actually going to maintain the results because you're doing it the right healthy way. So who am I? I'm Megan Janice, um, online nutrition fitness coach. I've worked with hundreds of women all over the world, um, different ages, different backgrounds, um, definitely, you know, women who are like in their 20s and 30s, but also in their 40s, 50s, 60s, because um, of course, a lot of women also believe, well, I'm too old now, so I can't get results. That's definitely not the case. The older women I've worked with as well have also seen really, really good results 
results. Um, and the reason why I've been able to help these women is because I went through my own transformation. Obviously, it's not like I was ever like significantly overweight or anything, but you know, I was at a point where I was like starting to really see that my body was like gaining weight in a way that I'd never seen before. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to, you know, do something. And it was a lot of trial and error, a lot of kind of like, okay, well, what works? And, you know, I finally started to figure it out. And the way that I did figure it out was getting actually educated on the topic. So not just listening to like people who, you know, maybe mean well, but they don't actually really know what they're talking about or listening to mainstream culture. I actually went and studied the science of, okay, how do we change our bodies? How do our hormones work? How does our metabolism work? What does building muscle actually mean and everything? Um, and then that's when I got insanely good results and I was just like so obsessed with it. Um, and then, you know, other women started asking me, oh, how can I get those results too? So obviously, you know, Kelly got really good results with me. Lots of other women of all different ages. This is Rebecca, by the way. <laughs> um, different ages, different backgrounds, started seeing results, you know, even just within a month, two months, three months, seeing like such a huge change in their body um, and obviously feeling good at the same time. So let's get into figuring out, you know, how you can actually do this. Okay, so the first and foremost, before we talk about like how to eat, how to work out, you have to understand what is it that you actually want to achieve with your body? I'm just going to see. Can I see the chat or do I have to? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll check it at the end. Okay. So you always like women were always saying, I want to lose weight and tone up, right? Like these are the, the slogans, the phrases that we hear, but we have to clarify, okay, what does that actually mean when we say tone up? Like what is actually happening in your body to make that result happen? So the point is, you don't actually want to lose weight or tone up. We say that's what we want, but what does that actually mean? Well, when we say lose weight, we mean losing a type of weight. And that type of weight is body fat, right? Because we weigh a certain amount, but obviously the amount of our total body weight is not only from body fat, but that is the type of weight that we want to lose. That's the kind of mushy, flabby, dimply, whatever texture on our body that makes our bodies look bigger. Um, so that's what we really mean when we say we want to lose weight. And this is going to be important because you're going to see that how much you weigh doesn't actually really matter. It's about where the weight comes from because the type of weight you have on your body makes you look very different. And so the same thing when we say, I want to tone up, well, that actually means you want to gain muscle, right? Because muscle also is a type of weight that we have on our body. But the difference is muscle is, funnily enough, it's the type of weight you want to gain, whereas body fat is the type of weight you want to lose. So this is why it's really not about weight. It's about where does the weight come from? And so you can see why this is, because here is one pound of body fat and one pound of muscle. So fat, as you can see, like it's more like mushy, flabby, whatever. Um, and even though this is one pound and this is one pound, look how much bigger the body fat is than the muscle. So this is why when you put more muscle on your body and you lose fat, even though maybe in some cases you actually might see there's going to be some weight gain on the scale, but you're going to look way leaner, way more toned and defined than you did before. That's because you know, this is one pound and this is one pound, but look how much smaller this is than this. So it's about where is the weight coming from? So just really important to clarify that. Um, this is like a pretty famous fitness influencer named Kelsey Wells. She's like one of the most famous examples of this, because as you can see, when she started her fitness journey, she was 122 pounds. And then look, she actually gained like a good bit of weight on the scale. She gained 18 pounds, but look how much more kind of aesthetically pleasing <laughs> she looks like she looks healthier she looks stronger she's leaner she's more toned and defined even though she's technically gained weight on the scale and that's not to say that this is always going to happen everybody is different you might in some cases you will lose weight on the scale in some cases your weight might kind of stay the same um, and sometimes it might go up but the, the point of what i'm saying is don't worry about losing weight on the scale focus on decreasing body fat and gaining muscle because it's the muscle that really makes you look sexy. And obviously it's also what keeps you healthy, keeps you strong because muscle mass is really, really crucial. So you just see how 
the texture and appearance of body fat versus muscle is completely different. You know, fat is mushy, soft, dimply, flabby, whatever, whereas muscle is smooth, firm, tight, and muscle just takes up much less space on your body, even if it weighs the same amount. So here's other examples of women who you can see, they actually maybe gained a little bit of weight, but they're actually leaner and more toned and more defined than they were when they weighed less. So this just goes to show like, you know, it blows people mind because it's like, how can I weigh more, but look better and be smaller and be more toned and all that? Well, it's because you got rid of weight from fat, which takes up more space on your body, but then you put on weight from muscle, which takes up less space, and, but makes your skin smooth, firm, tone defined, all of those things. So that's just really important to understand that. And maybe some of you ladies, you already know this, and maybe you're like, yeah, this is obvious, but <laughs> there's a lot of women who really don't know this. And this is how diet culture completely like messes with women is because we get marketed all the time, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, but we're not at all educated that it's actually not about your weight. It's where does the weight come from? And it, sometimes you might see gain or in this case, you know, like she's weighs the exact same, but look how much leaner she is. Right. So this is called your body composition, meaning literally like what is your body composed of? So how much of your body is coming from fat mass and then versus how much is coming from fat free mass, which is a term that's essentially like literally every other part of your body that has weight, which obviously is muscle, your bones, your organs, water, all of this, like all of that is weight on your body. It's just not weight that comes from fat. So fat mass and then fat free mass. Obviously you can't change the weight of your bones or your organs. The only things you can change is fat and muscle. So just to kind of clarify all of that, you know, I, I'm saying the word toned a lot. Um, and I always kind of do this when I say it because technically that is a made up word. Like what does toned actually mean? Well, toned literally means putting on muscle and then decreasing your body fat to a low enough level where you can really see the muscle pop, right? Because you can have muscle, but if you also have a bunch of like a higher amount of body fat, you're going to kind of just look a bit like blobby because the fat is covering the muscle. So the combination of you need the muscle, but you also can't have too much body fat. Um, but having more muscle is going to really play a big role in your ability to lose fat as you're going to see. So yeah, like you can't tone a muscle, you can't shape or sculpt a muscle. Another thing I hear a lot of the time is turn fat into muscle. Um, and I, I understand what people mean when they say that, but fat can't become muscle. Like fat is fat. You have your fat cells and you have your muscle cells. So the only thing that you can ever do is you can decrease or increase how much fat mass you have in your body. And then you can decrease or increase how much muscle mass you have in your body, right? Like you can't change your skeletal structure. You can't change your organs or anything like that. But the good news is literally anybody does not matter what your genetics are. doesn't matter what your background is. doesn't matter how cursed you think you are anybody can decrease or increase fat or muscle. It just comes down to implementing the right strategy, which I'm going to teach you how to do. So kind of the, the look that most women feel really, really happy if they are at that level is being about 20%, maybe as much as 25% body fat. So your the amount of fat you have on your body is measured as a percentage, meaning like literally the percentage of your body, your total body that is coming from fat. Um, so obviously it needs to be fairly low to get that really kind of lean look, but even more important than having a low amount of body fat is actually gaining the muscle. Like that is what's going to make you look toned and make you look defined. So this is, again, we're really not educated at all about this in diet culture it's always about lose weight lose weight but we're never taught that like there's a type of weight you want to gain it's just from muscle um and, or we're you know really conditioned to think oh no but muscle is only for men and if I gain muscle as a woman I'm going to look really bulky I'm going to look really manly and like that literally cannot be further from truth from the truth the exact female feminine sexy hourglass body that you want you get that by putting muscle on a woman's body um and the amount is kind of somewhere between 10 to 20 pounds of muscle on a woman's body is what's going to really create that like nice hourglass shape and not only get to that point but again actually maintain it um so again like this is kind of the range that most women feel really happy in when they have that level of body fat 
but it's not just getting low body fat because here's an example of, you know, when that happens, you kind of become skinny fat, um, which I know is not the nicest term, but you understand what I'm illustrating, just that like you can lose body fat, but if you don't have muscle underneath that fat, you still kind of look a little bit like weak and flabby and like don't have that like sexy shape. Whereas when you put on the muscle, that's when it's like, oh, okay, now I have like the small waist, popping booty, you know, sculpted arms, sculpted legs, sculpted abs. That's where it comes from. It's coming from the muscle. Okay. So amazingly enough, you actually do need to eat way more, like way, way, way more. And like literally probably 10 times as much as you're eating right now in order to get those results. And I'm going to explain how and why. And technically you need to work out less in a lot of ways, certainly probably less than you think you do. Like, obviously, if you're not working out at all right now, okay, I don't mean less than that. You do need to work out, but it's really about working out smarter instead of harder. And again, a lot of people think like, oh, two hours of like crazy cardio a day. Absolutely not. That's like, that's actually going to just really stress out your body and not work. So how do you get these results? How do you gain, you know, 10 to 20 pounds of muscle and how do you get your body fat down to like around 20, 25% to get that really lean toned, sexy hourglass body. And obviously also feel really good, have lots of energy, strength, health, happy hormones, good metabolism. So what you need to do is, like I said, you need to be eating enough food. And this is what I'm always preaching in my content is eat more, eat more, eat more. And obviously there's a strategy to it. You know, it can't just kind of be like, one day I like ate, you know, a ton of food and then the next day I like didn't really eat and it's like really random where it's coming from. It needs to be consistent and it needs to be a balanced portion of each type of nutrient, which we're going to get into. Um, but eating more consistently is what is going to give you a lightning fast metabolism. And so when you have a lightning fast metabolism, that's the main thing that is going to turn you into what I call, you know, a 24 seven calorie burning machine. And it's what's going to allow you to put on that sexy muscle. Um, and of course, it's not only you can't build muscle just by eating like you eat, of course, that's what's going to fuel the muscle gain. But obviously, you have to work out correctly not just randomly work out you need to train like you need to be training to gain muscle which is where you know you work out smarter instead of harder and the way that you do that actually is by getting strong af and a lot of women again we're like literally not taught anything about our own strength it's something that's very masculinized and we think like oh strength that's only for men only men can be strong if i try to get strong with a woman i'm going to explode into the hulk overnight i'm going to look super manly absolutely not the case the way that a man gets his dream physique is actually the exact same way that a woman gets her dream physique um, both men as well they need to get lean enough they need to have a low enough body fat percentage and they need to put on muscle it's exactly the same the reason that men and women look so different is because obviously we are so different men have way more muscle than women do to begin with in the first place which is why technically they are going to be a little bit stronger than women are, um, but it's not as much as we've been sadly conditioned by the patriarchy to think like we've been really conditioned to think, oh, men are just so much stronger. It's not true. Women actually can be quite strong. One of the biggest differences is that men have their smoke, a lot of their strength and a lot of their muscle also in their upper body, whereas women have most of our strength um, in our lower body, which is why we can get such nice legs and such a nice big pop and bubble butts, but we wouldn't get like a huge upper body the way that a man would because we literally just don't have the muscle mass for it. Okay, so let's break this all down. How does this all work? So really at the end of the day, and you've probably heard this before, you know, it's calories in versus calories out. And yes, that's technically true, but the problem is people do this totally the wrong way. They hear, oh, okay, calories in versus calories out. So that means as long as I eat like way fewer calories and I burn way more calories by doing crazy hard workouts, then I'm just gonna magically get in fantastic shape. No, not so fast. It, you know, our bodies are so much more complex than that. It doesn't really work that way. And I'm going to show you that the secret to getting, not only getting, but actually maintaining that sexy hourglass body is by making the energy out as fast as possible, but not from your working out, from making your metabolism as fast as possible. So you're going to see how this is really the secret. So of course, you know, calories in the body is all the food, all the drinks we're having. Um, calories out is metabolism is the biggest one. So literally like 
the cost that it is for your body to keep you alive every single day. That's your metabolism to keep everything functioning. Um, this is your digestion because we burn calories when we digest. And then of course, any and all movement. So you have your actual workout, which of course does burn some calories, but not nearly as much as you think. And it's not really as important as you might think. Um, and then of course, just like all the other movement you do throughout the day. So walking, like standing up from a chair, picking something up off the ground, like all of that is burning calories still because you're moving your body. Even me moving my hands like this, right? Um, so yes, calories in versus calories out. And you're going to see really the secret is the metabolism because the metabolism is hands down the biggest thing that is really burning calories throughout your day. So how to get the results you want. It's a combination of both gradually increasing the amount of food that you are eating consistently. Okay. Again, it's not just like, okay, one day I had 3000 calories and the next day I had a thousand. No, 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 no. We're going to get you eating, you know, well over 2000 calories, even more like 2,500 every single day. And again, getting the right ratio of your three macros, your protein, carbs, and fats, which we're going to get into because the more food that you eat consistently, your body then starts to adapt to it is the point. Your metabolism will always adapt to the amount of food that you eat. Um, and this is why dieting is so horrible and why it backfires so horribly and why yo-yo dieting is so common. Because when you eat very little food, guess what happens? Your metabolism adapts. So you start burning very, very few calories. So in that moment, you might lose some weight, but then as soon as you start eating more, your metabolism is only burning this much. So you just gain a whole bunch of weight back. So the secret really is kind of to do it the opposite way, um, which is get your body used to burning more calories 24 seven by eating more food all of the time. So that way it's always burning more and more calories. And that's how you're going to lose body fat. You're going to put on that sexy muscle and you're going to actually keep it. So that's kind of the strategy here is make your calories out as fast as possible by making your metabolism as fast as possible, which you do by eating a lot consistently. And then also what goes hand in hand with that is building muscle because building muscle is not only what makes you look sexy, it makes you age well, it makes you, you know, protects your bones, all of that good stuff. But the more muscle you have on your body, the faster your metabolism becomes. So this is why it's really kind of the secret. So muscle is not only what makes you look good, but it's what makes you stay looking that good because muscle requires a lot of fuel from your body. So your metabolism is burning more calories all the time. So in order to maintain that muscle, you have to continually eat more and more and more and more um, so that you just become a 24 seven calorie burning machine and you just stay this way all the time. So your metabolism is really, really the key to your results. And again, we are absolutely not educated about this at all. Um, so just stop listening to any diet culture, anything, because it's all BS and none of it is teaching you how your body actually works. Okay, so now we're going to kind of look at like, how do we actually burn calories every day, which is called your total daily energy expenditure or your TDEE for short. Um, so literally like total daily energy expenditure, energy expenditure, meaning like how many calories are you expending? Calories are is energy, right? So your TDEE is made up of four things, which we're going to break down here. So the biggest one, as you can see, by far, by far, is your BMR, which stands for your basal metabolic rate. So the speed of your metabolism. That accounts for 70% of all the calories that you were burning every single day. So this means that literally, even if you laid in bed, you didn't move at all, you did absolutely nothing, you'd still be burning that 70% of calories because your metabolism is literally just like, everything in your body it's like what's making your heart pump it's what's making your lungs expand it's so it's pushing blood through um, your veins all of this that is 70 percent of your daily calorie burn so you can see it is by far the majority um so this is why the secret to really maintain getting good results but also maintaining them especially is to make your metabolism as fast as possible so that you can keep those results right so the next closest one in terms of the highest percentage of your TDEE is called your NEAT, which stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is a very fancy way of just saying all of the movement that you do throughout the day that isn't your actual workout, because your actual workout is here, which is the exercise activity thermogenesis as opposed to the non-exercise. So this accounts for 15%. So this actually still 
I mean, it's a much smaller than your metabolism, obviously, because your metabolism is 70%, but 15%, okay, that's still kind of something. Um, and this is why actually walking, like getting your steps, you probably heard a lot about that. That's actually why it is fairly powerful because your need is the biggest one is just going to be how many steps do you take every day? Even though I know that going for a walk can actually kind of be an intentional form of exercise, but obviously it's more chill than like doing an actual cardio workout or doing an actual weightlifting workout, which is more like exercise exercise, because it's obviously going to be putting your heartbeat being a lot faster and like requiring a lot more from your body. Whereas walking is like very low stress, very low impact, but it nonetheless is still really helping with your daily calorie expenditure. So you're going to see later on, um, and Kelly knows this because when she came to me, she was like, she thought she had to do like tons of cardio. And I was like, no, 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 no. In my program, you're going to do like almost no cardio at all. Um, and a lot of the time, actually, a lot of my clients don't do any cardio other than walking. It just depends where they're at, what exactly their goal is. Because um, sometimes if they really, really want to lose more fat, we might do a little bit of cardio, but it's always going to be very moderate. You don't have to do any crazy cardio, like those crazy, like, oh my God, I want to die don't need to do any of that. Like it's actually in a lot of ways doing more harm than good. So anyways, that's that. The third biggest contributing factor is what's called the thermic effect of food, which is the amount of calories that burns off in the digestion process. So that's 10% of your daily calorie expenditure coming from when you eat food, your body has to spend energy to burn off that food. And this is all the more reason why eating lots of food actually helps spike your metabolism even more because your body has to spend a lot of energy to digest the food that you eat. So this is actually a good thing. And then the very last teeny tiny contributing factor to your total daily calorie expenditure is your eat, your exercise activity thermogenesis. So 5% only of all the calories that you burn every single day is coming from the actual workout that you do. So that is a very sobering reality for a lot of people because Again, we're, we're so brainwashed by diet culture to think like burn like all these calories in these workouts. And even, you know, with all these like gadgets and everything we have about your Apple watch and it's showing like, oh, this is how many calories you burn in this workout. First of all, just one quick side note on that. Those gadgets are very infamously inaccurate. They can be inaccurate by up to as much as 50%. So don't solely rely on them and say, oh, but this told me I burned 500 calories. You literally maybe could have burnt only 200 calories. So like, don't pay attention to that. Um, and that's just the fact of the matter is no matter how hard you work out, like if, even if you work out for like two hours and it was really intense, you still are only burning a couple hundred calories max. And when you think about how easily you can eat a couple hundred calories, that's when you start to realize that, okay, actually how many calories you burn in your workout really doesn't matter. It plays such a small role in your total daily calorie expenditure. So this is why the secret is not starving yourself. It's quite the opposite. It's not to work out insanely hard, insanely long. The secret is to get your metabolism to be as fast as possible, because as you saw, your metabolism is burning 70% of your daily calories 24 seven around the clock, literally no matter what you do, even if you lay in bed and do absolutely nothing, you're still burning those calories. So it's kind of like, think of it as an investment, you know, like uh, a good analogy is with your money too. Like people always say, make your money work hard for you instead of working hard for your money. It's the same thing with your metabolism, like make your metabolism work hard for you instead of you trying to work so hard to, you know, burn calories or whatever. So how do you get a fast metabolism? Well, again, you've got to gradually eat more and more consistently over time. And the way, the reason why I say it has to be gradual is because, okay, most women are very chronically under eating, like so badly. Um, and this is why they have no energy. This is why they aren't getting toned. This is why they're not losing fat. It's why they have no energy on and on it goes. Um, and they don't realize that it's literally just because they're not eating enough consistently. And this is like the biggest thing that happens with my clients. They come into the program and literally within a week, they're like, oh my God, like, I, you know, I've never had this much energy. Like I'm not craving all this junk anymore. Like I used to, my digestion's so good. I'm not bloated anymore. And I'm like, yeah, cause now you're eating like plain and simple. You need to eat. And again, we're so brainwashed by diet culture to see food as the enemy and calories are bad. Carbs are evil. Eat less, cut calories, cut carbs. 
all of that is just total BS. Carbs are your friends. Calories are your friends. You need fuel for your body, but you just need to understand how to do it correctly, which I'm going to show you how to do. So consistently eating more and more. Um, and then within that, you probably heard of macros before. So your macro stands for macronutrients, which there's only three of them. So even if you've never heard of macros, you definitely know what the three are. And the three are protein, carbohydrates, and fats, meaning that obviously all food is made up of calories, but it's not just all calories are exactly the same because calories come from each of those three macronutrients. So you have some calories that come from fats, meaning things like oil, cheese, egg yolks, fattier meats, um, uh, like full fat yogurt, peanut butter, that type of stuff. That is calories from fat. That's very different than calories from protein. So calories from protein is, you know, fish, lean red meat, um, Greek yogurt, obviously protein powder, eggs, um, and then even like the soy products for my vegan girls. So like tempeh, tofu, seitan, that's those types of calories from protein is very different than calories from peanut butter, which is from a fat. And then of course you also have your proteins from carbs and carbs actually falls into two different categories for the most part, because you have what I call the starchy carbohydrates, or they are also called sometimes complex carbohydrates, which is things like pasta, beans, oats, rice, potatoes, like the more kind of heavy duty carbs, which actually are very good for you. And you need to eat a lot of them, which you're going to find out um, versus what's called fibrous carbohydrates, which is like fruits and veggies, right? Because vegetables technically eat the carb, but they're like so low calorie, but they're very, very high in nutrients and fiber. Um, whereas the starchy carbs, potatoes, rice, beans, all of that, that's um, still has fiber, still has nutrients, but it's a little bit more dense in calories. So point is, in order to get a faster metabolism, and not only get the fast metabolism, but also obviously look sexy, get that hourglass body and feel really good having it and keeping it, you have to eat more and more, but it can't just be like random. you got to make sure you're eating the right amount of what you need, meaning you need to be having the right ratio of carbs, fats, and protein. And you need all three. There's no food group that should be eliminated. That is a horrible idea. Again, we're so brainwashed. Oh, carbs are bad. It just drives me insane. Um, you need carbs. You need all three. And this is very freeing as well, because we're also taught by diet culture that we have to be really restrictive with our food choices. I can't eat bread. I can't eat pasta. I can't eat cheese. I can't eat whatever. I can't eat red meat. If I just stop eating this one food, I'll magically transform my body. No, that's not how it works. There's nothing that you have to eat or like don't have to eat. It's just about getting different sources of protein, carbs, and fat. So technically nothing is off limits, which is so freeing. There's nothing that you have to cut out. There's nothing that you have to stop having. It's just about getting the right amount of each one. Okay. And then obviously building muscle is also how you get a fast metabolism. It's also how you look sexy, um, feel sexy, and you build muscle by getting strong which we're going to get into and obviously eating enough because muscle can't be created from nothing. You need to give your body fuel for muscle to grow on your body. And so I was already talking about this, you know, your metabolism always will adapt to the amount of food you're eating consistently again. So if you just have one day where you ate a lot, but then the rest of the week, you don't really eat. That's actually bad. That's how you end up kind of gaining weight because again, you're conditioning your metabolism to normally not eating very much. And then all of a sudden you have one or two days where you eat like, triple the amount of food, but your metabolism is only here, but you're eating this much. So what you need to do is you need to be consistently eating more and more and more and more and more so that your metabolism will adapt, right? And then obviously this backfires the opposite way when you diet, which is, okay, now you're consistently eating less, less, less. Okay. Metabolism is now burning less and less. And then all of a sudden after your diet, I start eating more again. Okay, great. Well, now you're just going to gain all this weight because your metabolism is only here. So Let's talk about the actual three macros, protein, fats, and carbs. So you need enough of each one. You need plenty of each one. And the biggest difference that you're going to have when you start eating correctly to fuel your body, build muscle, lose fat, get that fast metabolism is usually the biggest changes people see is number one, hands down by far, they are not eating nearly enough protein. Most women are like, barely eating any protein. Even if you think you're eating enough protein, I can almost guarantee that you're not unless you actually have tracked your macros and you've done this and you're doing that right now, then maybe you are. But most of the time we're just really not eating enough protein. And so why is protein so important? 
Well, protein literally is the building block of muscle. Protein is made up of amino acids, um, and that is what creates the muscle tissue <laughs> on our body. So we can't build muscle if we aren't giving our body what it needs to build muscle and it needs protein to build muscle. So that's why eating plenty of protein is so key. And there's other reasons why eating plenty of protein is, is really important, but that's kind of the most obvious one. Um, and amazingly, you actually need to eat even more carbs than the amount of protein you need to have. Like that's usually the biggest shock for my clients is like, and they'll text me like, are you sure this is the right amount? Like this is like a huge bowl of pasta. It's like a ton of bread or it's a huge bowl of rice. They haven't eaten this way maybe for years because they thought it was so bad. And I'm like, yes, it's the right amount. Like you need carbs. Carbs are your friend. And the reason why is because carbs is the main source of fuel for your body. Technically fats can be a source of fuel for your body as well. Um, like carbs and fats really are both like fuel, whereas protein is for muscle. Um, but fat is just a slower releasing energy. So when you are building muscle, you obviously need to train to build muscle, right? You can't just eat your way to muscle. You have to work out to build the muscle and you have to work out correctly. So carbs is going to be the source of fuel for your workout. So that's why it's so important to eat enough carbs because if you're barely eating and then you're going to go in the gym and you're going to be squatting, lunging, deadlifting, and like, you're not going to be able to do that if you don't have fuel in your body to actually give the energy that you need to give in your workout to create muscle in the first place. So carb is carbs is what's going to fuel your workout so that you actually can gain the muscle, can get that faster metabolism. And also carbs just in general, it's going to give you more energy throughout the day. And all my clients say that too. They're like, oh my God, I have so much more energy now. And I'm like, yeah, it's because not only you're eating enough, but you're also eating enough carbs. And that's what's really going to give you energy. Um, and then fats as well are very important. We need fats because fats is the main thing that's really regulating your hormones and having happy hormones is key to being able to do all of this, right? Like if your hormones are totally out of whack, which if you've been chronically under eating, your hormones are gonna be out of whack right now, but you can always adjust that. As soon as you start eating more, as soon as you start building muscle, your hormones are gonna to start to be really happy. Um, so all of that is just regulating all of this. So yeah, protein is so key because it's the building block of muscle. It's also the most satiating of the three macros. Carbs is the second most satiating and fat is the least satiating, meaning protein keeps you full the longest. So this is why eating a lot of protein, not only is going to help you build muscle, but it's also going to allow you to really lose fat at like a shocking rate, um, but also in a very healthy way, just because you're so full for so long from protein. And then also remember 10% of your calories is from your daily digestion. Well, protein by far burns the most calories in the digestion process. Carbs a second and fats last. As much as 40% of the calories that you consume from protein are actually going to get burnt off in the digestion process. So eating more protein also helps spike your daily digestion calorie expenditure. So that's why protein is so important, but carbs are so important as well. And you actually need to eat even more carbs than you need to eat protein. Cause again, carbs is your source of fuel. You're not going to have energy to even go walking. You're not going to have energy to focus. You're not going to have energy to do your workout if you are not eating carbs. So you need to be fueling your body with carbs and also carbs get stored in your muscles. It gets stored in your muscles as glycogen. Um, so if you're not having enough carbs, not only is your energy going to tank and you're not really going to be able to work out properly, but you're going to notice that your muscles are kind of like deflated. Like they don't look as toned. They're not as pumped if you're not having as much carbs because carbs fill up the muscles with stored backup energy. Um, so that's why they're so important. And then fats keeps your hormones happy, which obviously is critical to actually being able to lose fat, gain muscle in the first place. And then the other kind of main reason we need to eat fats is like, let's face it, if you didn't have oil, if you didn't have cheese, if you didn't have avocado, if you didn't have peanut butter, all of those good things, like your food wouldn't really taste that good. Fat is the main thing that makes food taste good. I mean, sure, like sugar and like fruit and whatever has flavor, um, more like a sweet flavor, but that savory, really like, oh my God, this tastes so amazing, like tzatziki, hummus, uh, olive oil, whatever, that comes from fat. So that's also why we need it to make food taste good. So this is why, you know, there's nothing you need to cut out. 
every single food is either going to be protein, carbs, fats, or a combination of two or three of them. So it's not like, again, if you're like, oh, I can't eat bread. It's like, yeah, you can. You can absolutely eat bread. You just need to. I eat a ton of bread. I literally could never give it up. I eat so much bread, so much pasta. I teach all my clients. They can also do the same potatoes, rice. I eat all these things like all day, every day. Um, and so it's like, there's, you can't, it's not that you have to give up bread. You just need to fit it in your carb allotment for the day, right? So getting enough of protein, carbs, and fats and not going way over, but also especially not going way under, which is what most people are doing. They're eating way under what they need to be eating. Okay. So that is the food side. So how do you work out then? Like, how is the correct way to build muscle? So it really goes hand in hand with getting strong because think about it. Strength is what creates muscle. When you force your body to get physically stronger, your body has to build muscle as the, like, what am I trying to say? That's, that's what makes it sustain the strength that you're demanding of it. So, I mean, and this is what it's going to look like, right? It's not like you can see this, it's not like this girl's like huge or something. No, she has muscle on a woman's body. So like you can see, oh my gosh, she looks great. Like you probably want to look like her, right? Um, and the way that you do that is by focusing on getting strong, actually lifting weights. That's the best way you can do it. And this is why cardio is really not going to play that much of a role in getting your results. And you see lots of examples of this on the internet, like, Back when I only did cardio and I barely ate and then, oh, look, I started eating more and I stopped doing so much cardio. I started lifting weights and now I have that sexy tone body because the problem is cardio doesn't build muscle. It, it will still kind of stimulate your muscles. You might get a little bit of muscle gain from it, but it's not the main thing that's going to build muscle. Getting strong is how you build muscle. And the way that you get strong is by literally picking up heavy stuff and heavier and heavier and heavier over time. You can still kind of put resistance on your muscles just doing body weight stuff as well. Like you can do planks, um, you can do body weight squats, body weight lunges. But the problem is that's not a very high level of resistance because obviously your body weight is only so much and then you're going to hit the ability to, you're going to kind of max out what you can do with your body weight, which, so this is why lifting weights, adding on a weight, picking up dumbbells, picking up a barbell, and then squatting, lunging, bench pressing with that is what is going to continue to help you build more and more muscle and get that lean toned, sexy look, right? So again, you know, cardio versus weights. When you're just cardio, you're just going to get skinny fat, but when you're mainly lifting weights, that's when you're going to get, you know, snatch waist, pop and bubble butt, get that sexy hourglass body, right? Muscle is forced to grow when we're putting more and more resistance on our muscles because it's literally like, that's what it is. You have to force your body to grow muscle because your body's kind of like not going to do anything extra that it doesn't have to. So you have to give your body a reason to grow the muscle and you give it the reason to do that when you're forcing it to get stronger than it was previously. And of course, alongside that you have to be eating enough food because if you're just working out hard but you're barely eating your body doesn't have any fuel to work with to create the muscle it has to come from somewhere and it comes from your food especially especially protein and carbs is really where it comes from so again you know this is the difference between lots of cardio lots of weightlifting, um and it's just muscle like you just have to really kind of wrap that around your mind is that oh muscle is what gives me that sexy shape it's what gives me the curves it's what gives me the definition and I build muscle by getting physically stronger and eating a lot of food to support the workouts and to support the muscle growth um so the best way to work out and this is what I really kind of strongly encourage for women who come into my program is definitely to go to a gym and that is because you are going to have access to all of the equipment. And a lot of women, they just really kind of don't understand this. And they'll be like, can I just do body weight workouts at home? And I'm like, if you're really out of shape or you're like really have a lot of like injuries or something, yes, you can kind of get started with some body weight workouts. But if you want to see the best results, if you want to build 
all of that sexy muscle, you're going to need to lift some heavy stuff. Like that's just a requirement, especially if you're talking about growing a butt. If you want to grow booty, like you need to be putting some resistance on that butt in order for it to grow. Um, and not just booty, same thing with abs, arms, like your whole body. Um, so I always like really strongly encourage going to an actual gym because you're going to have all the equipment that you could ever need, all of the weights, the machines and everything. And I totally understand if you're hearing this and you're like, oh my God, I'm so intimidated to go to a gym. Um, Cause I was the same in the beginning. I was literally so intimidated. But once you actually know, like, this is exactly what you should be doing in the gym. This is how to work out. These are the exercises to do. This is how much weight to do. This is how many reps to do. Here's the form breakdown. You kind of stop realizing, like you, you stop feeling like it's scary and you're like, oh no, actually this is, and then it becomes really fun. Like it goes from being the scariest thing ever to being like the most, the thing that you look forward to the most in your day, like going to the gym, lifting weights. It's so much fun. And especially because you start to see really insane results fast. Like once you start working out correctly, you start lifting weights correctly, your body is going to change so fast. You're going to start to see results that you never thought you could have, that you didn't think you had the genetics for. And obviously when you see it's working, that's when you just like get addicted. And this is exactly what happened with me. It's what happens with a lot of my clients. They were like terrified to go to a gym and then going to the gym becomes literally like the highlight of their day. But that being said, like if there's just like literally no way that you can go to a gym just because like you live really far or like it's just way too intimidating right now that you literally can't, you can work out from home, um, especially if you are a complete beginner, just getting some dumbbells at home is going to be enough. But eventually you are going to, if you want to continue working out from home, you're going to need to get something more like this, which is a barbell with some plates. And I know that this was the setup Kelly had. She had a home gym. So it's, you can invest in kind of building your own home gym out of points. Um, but that's why it's like, you either do that or you go to an actual gym. But if you really are just looking to get started in the beginning, dumbbells are enough to get started, but I'm going to push you to try to get into a gym so that you can build more muscle eventually. Okay. So now that you understand how all of this works, how our bodies burn calories, all of this good stuff. Now, hopefully you can see like, which makes more sense just, you know, starving yourself, barely eating, which obviously we now know is going to tank the speed of your metabolism. So it's actually going to backfire. But, you know, when you focus on, oh, do all these really hard workouts and burn a ton of calories. Well, actually the amount of calories you burn in your workout is literally 5% of your entire day. So doesn't it make so much more sense to actually focus on making this thing here 24 seven around the clock, burn way more calories for you all of the time and get it to be super fast by eating more food consistently and focusing on building muscle in your workouts by getting strong and not focusing on how many calories you're burning in your workouts because it really doesn't matter. And then of course, okay, you're walking, you're moving. So that's adding that 15%. You're eating lots of food, you're eating lots of protein. So that is burning that 10%. And then of course, you are still going to be burning calories in your workout, no matter what kind of workout you do, but it's just not very relevant. This is the most important thing. And this is really the secret. So, you know, which one sounds better to you? This is the path that we've been brainwashed by diet culture to think like, this is what we got to do. Okay. Eat 800, 1000, 1200 calories a day. You always hear the 1200 calories a day. It drives me freaking nuts when I hear that. So not true. And you know, when you do that, okay, you get skinny, but you're just going to be skinny fat. You're not going to actually be toned in like hourglass body the way that you want. And beyond looking how you want, you're obviously going to feel like garbage too. You're going to be starving. And then the starving is going to lead to you binging. And then that obviously messes up everything. And then you just feel guilty and ashamed versus what it wouldn't it be nice to just always look sexy toned hourglass body like this and getting that by eating a ton of food by eating at least 2000 calories a day if not like 2500 a day always being toned always being leaned you don't feel deprived because nothing is off limits you're eating so much food you're so full you're so satisfied all the time you have so much energy this is the way to do it this is the actual correct way to be healthy to look and feel good. So of course, this is the entire point of my program, me and my co-coach here. This is everything that we walk you through. We design the program for you based on, you know, where are you right now? Where do you want to be? Um, what is the schedule you have? What are the preferences you have? Like we make it work for you. It's customized to you. And, and it's not only, okay, here's like the one-time workout and the one-time meal plan and like good luck. It's an ongoing customization because obviously 
you might start at this level, but every single week you need to kind of be increasing. You need to be increasing the amount of food you're eating. You need to be increasing the amount of weight you're lifting in your workouts, et cetera, et cetera. And so we're always ongoing customizing all of that for you, not only the strategy, but um, most importantly, you know, we, we really work with you because it's one thing for me to kind of just look at your photos, look at where you want to be and say, okay, you should eat this much. You should work out like this. I need to hear from you. Okay. Now that you're eating this much, how do you feel? Because your body is going to tell you, it's going to give you information. This is called your biofeedback. So if you tell me, oh, I started eating this much and actually like, I'm still really hungry, even though I'm eating this much, that's going to tell me, okay, so that means that your metabolism has already adapted, which is a really good sign. And that means you're actually burning even more calories. So now you need to start eating even more. So it's constant kind of back and forth between us because I need to know, like, how do you feel physically and obviously feeling mentally too, because it's really important to me that you're not feeling exhausted, that you're not feeling overwhelmed. Um, Because of course, being really tired, being really stressed, all of that is going to impair your results anyways. But also just, I want to make sure like this feels fun, that it feels easy. You know, obviously there's going to be days where of course, maybe you don't feel like working out or maybe you don't feel like eating all the food that you need to do. So there is going to be some amount of kind of like loving accountability that might come in sometimes and being like, yeah, I know it's not fun right now, but remember, like, it's not about how you feel in this moment. It's about what you actually want and like getting your workout in today. I know you can do it. It's good. You're going to feel so good that you did it in the end. So having that loving encouragement and honestly, like I've worked with hundreds of women. I can absolutely say with confidence, it is having somebody who is with you every step of the way is what really makes the difference because you can take everything that I just said in this presentation about okay, you got to eat more protein, you got to lift weights. And like, honestly, you totally could just start doing that on your own. And you probably are going to see some pretty good results. But the problem is, it's just so easy to obviously get very discouraged, very overwhelmed, um, or just because you're not accountable to anyone. You're like, oh, well, it doesn't, nobody's going to know if I skip today's workout, whatever. So this is what I just have really found makes a huge difference is having somebody who is checking in on you, who's making sure that you're actually eating the way that you need to be eating. You're doing the workouts that you need to be doing, looking at your photos, looking at your biofeedback, asking you, how do you feel? What's happening with your body? What's happening with your hunger, your sleep, your stress? Are you on your cycle? Um, All of these things. And is there actually ensuring that you are doing what you need to be doing and doing it in a loving way, right? Like I'm not like a hard ass coach type of person. Um, I definitely take a more feminine approach, which is, you know, just reminding you that like, you got this, you're absolutely doing things right. Because I find that as well. Like my clients tell me that all the time, like before they started working with me, they were always just guessing. They were like, okay, I think I should maybe try this workout. I think I should eat this way. I think I should cut out bread, but you don't really, you're not confident about what you're doing. So it makes all the difference to have somebody there being like, this is what you should need, what you should be doing to get the result. Yes, you're doing it right. Yes, the results are on their way. Keep going, keep going. You've got this, you've got this. Like we're here with you. We're updating everything that needs to be updated to to work with your schedule, with your goals. Um, So this just really makes the difference, right? Like you know, you can kind of try to figure it all out on your own. And like, you can, I actually did do that path many years ago. It was like kind of figuring it out on my own. It just takes way longer. And it's obviously a lot more easy. It's a lot more likely that you'll just kind of be like, ah, oh, screw it. Oh, well, I'm just going to like not do it today or whatever or that you're just like, this is too confusing. I don't know if I'm doing it right. So it just makes a huge difference to invest in somebody who knows the path they've gotten the results themselves they've gotten the results for hundreds of other women of all different ages and backgrounds they know the obstacles you're going to face they know how to handle every single situation like that is really what makes or breaks results for people again like I've seen it with so many people having somebody who's cheering you on who's guiding you who's supporting you who's answering your questions who's reminding you you can do this you can do this you're on the right path keep going that's when you get results, right? So that is what you get inside my program, the program that I did with Kelly. Obviously, you're not only getting the correct strategy, which is absolutely essential because 
you need to know how to eat correctly. You need to know how to work out correctly. Um, and that alone, like I'd say you can find that online pretty easily for like a pretty cheap price. So if you really do think like you're a very e extremely self-motivated, very disciplined person, then maybe that's all you actually need to get results. But um, again, like I really see that the vast majority of people, they really, really do need the accountability. They need somebody guiding them and encouraging them. And even if you can go find like, okay, here's a meal plan, here's a workout, like it still is so different when it's customized to your body and it's continually updated because you need to be adjusting how you're eating, you need to be adjusting how you're working out and that making sure that you're always doing it the correct way in response to the biofeedback you're getting. So it's just, it is very complex. This is why people literally dedicate their entire lives to it. Like I've dedicated so many years to it and I'm, I'm always still learning more and more and more. I, I, I love it. I nerd out about it all the time. Um, so that's why I feel so confident guiding women through it because I'm like, I know what I'm talking about. I know how to help you and how to get you the results you want um, and how to make it the most fun, most easy, most sustainable way possible, which means means still having wine, still having chocolate, still having pizza, still going on vacation, still going out with your friends. You're still doing all those things. You're, you're not giving anything up. You're just bringing in good quality foundations. Um, so just kind of giving you an overview of like, okay, what does it actually look like to eat the correct way? And you can see it is freaking awesome. It's not boring. It's not miserable at all. So this is like very typical type of thing that I might eat every single day or one of my clients. So, and you might, maybe you might eat more than three meals a day, but this is just, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So, you know, can be like French toast in the morning, big chicken burrito bowl for lunch, and then like steak and potatoes for dinner. Um, again, like it doesn't have to be any one thing. The whole point is it's protein, fats, carbs. You can have whatever you want. You just need to be getting the right amount of all three. And that's what we help you with inside the program is saying like, okay, here's what you can eat to hit those numbers. You don't have to eat it though. You can eat technically whatever you want as long as you're hitting your numbers. So, you know, it can also look like this. Protein yogurt parfait in the morning, uh, pesto shrimp pasta, chicken tacos, like really, really delicious stuff. Um, I make these pancakes. Now I just moved to Mexico. I haven't been making them, but when I was in Canada, I was literally making this like every single day. All my clients try it and they're like, it's so freaking good. So, I mean, and it's just mind blowing because probably for so long you thought that you can't eat these foods, you can't eat bread, you can't eat pasta, you can't eat pancakes. Well, actually you can. <laughs> and eating those foods actually help you reach your goals because it's an easy way to get lots of carbs, lots of protein, lots of good fats. So these are just examples of like what a day of eating can look like. Doesn't mean that you have to eat this way. You can eat whatever you want. No food is off limits. It's just about getting the right amount. It doesn't matter if you're dairy-free, gluten-free, gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan, any, any food requirements or any food restrictions, we can work with it. It does not matter. Cause again, it doesn't matter if you're vegan, like you can still eat protein, carbs, fats. It's just about getting the right amount from each of those three categories. So that is what we guide you through. We tell you, you know, like, here's how much you need to be eating. Here's ideas of what you can eat to hit that target. But technically you can eat what you want if you don't want to eat our exact example. And then constantly updating this as you go along, right? Because again, as you go through the program, you need to consistently eat more and more. So maybe you're only starting at like 150 grams of carbs, but within even like a month or two, you might be eating 250 grams of carbs and you're going to actually look and feel so much better eating so much more food. It's just going to blow your mind. Um, and then of course, you know, customizing the workout plan for you, however many days it's going to work with your schedule, the specific aesthetics that you want. You know, if you're like, I really want to grow booty. <laughs> a lot of women want to do that. I'm like, okay, no worries. That's my specialty. Um, or if you're like, I really want to see my abs pop. Okay. We can really focus on that. Whatever it is that you want. Again, it can be at the gym or at home. I really do recommend the gym to have all the equipment, but if, if that's just like so overwhelming or it's just not an option, you can get what I really recommend is these adjustable dumbbells. Because again, remember, in order to build muscle, you have to consistently increase the resistance that you're putting on your muscles. So these types of dumbbells are really cool because it goes anywhere from five pounds all the way up to 50 pounds, which means you still have 100 pounds to be lifting, squatting, deadlifting, all that stuff. Um, so if you are adamant about working from home, this is still an option. Um, and, you know, we just guide you through everything. We make sure like, okay, maybe in the beginning, 
you're not yet like super strong, that is okay. You're going to get super strong. And, you know, maybe you're just starting with dumbbells, but eventually we're going to get you with like a barbell and with plates on the side. And like, you're going to just be so amazed how fast you actually get strong. And when you get stronger, you're going to see it in your body. You're going to like, oh my God, suddenly I have abs, suddenly I have the small weight, suddenly I have this beautiful bubble butt that I never had before. Um, and because I am honestly so confident in my knowledge and so confident in the program, I now offer a guarantee with it, which is if you come into this program, if you work the strategy, if you follow what we say for you to do, so you're hitting your macro targets that we give you, you're doing your weekly check-in, you're doing your workouts. And by the end, if you are not happy with the results you get, then I just give you your money back because to me, you know, it's like, okay, if you listen to my advice, if you followed my strategy, you actually implemented it consistently, and you're not happy, then I don't deserve to get paid for this. But I'm quite certain that that wouldn't be the case, because this is the science, this is how it works. So if you implement it, you are going to get really good results. But just in case you're not like, there's literally nothing to lose. You have everything to gain, nothing to lose because you're getting the results you want you have guidance you have support so i mean there's literally just no better time to get started right it's, it's sometimes people are like oh you know it's not convenient right now it's never going to be convenient it's never going to be the perfect time and that's why having accountability having support is going to make it so much easier because we're going to coach you through that like how we can make it as quick and easy as possible how we can adapt it to your schedule and how we can be there to support you to remind you like you can do this you can fit it in it's going to be worth it you're going to be so glad that you did it um so i only ever have 10 spots that i can take per i think she got cut off so i'm gonna have her finish um if she pops back on but if not then i'll have her just record it and send it over with this particular training but before we head on out of here, I wanted to see if you guys had any questions. I know that, I hope she paused back up because she taught me so much today, just hearing, oh, there you are, perfect. <laughs> Hold on really quick. I'm gonna ask to unmute and then I'm gonna make you, um, are you still co-host? I think so. Okay, yeah, sorry, was it cutting out there a bit? It was cutting out and then it looked like you completely left. So I was like, oh shoot, we lost okay. her. All right, well here, I'm just, just wrapping up the very end here. Um, so just talking about the program, if you're interested, this, these are the details. Okay, let's see. So yes, normally I only ever have 10 spots that I can fill per month. So for the, in the month of November, um, and normally this program, it's $2,000 in full for four months of working together to get started. And then it's $2,000 and you get a welcome bonus or you do $500 per month on a payment plan. But as you know, thank you for being here, being live, being um, coming to this presentation through Kelly. I'm also going to give you a special offer, which is that even if you join on the payment plan, which is $500 per month, you're still going to get the welcome bonus. And the welcome bonus is you get a organic high quality protein powder shipped to your house and you also get a top-notch fabric resistance band which helps with your lower body training popping that booty so these are things that you're going to be using in the program you get that for free on the payment plan normally that's only when you pay in full or if you want to go ahead and pay in full you will also get both of the bonuses and i will give you 200 dollars off so it'll be 1800 dollars in full for these four months together that's like literally the best deal that I've ever given for this program. I've never had that offer before. So this is just something I'm going to be doing for the next few days for you ladies who have been here with the presentation. So yeah, you get either a grass-fed whey protein powder or a vegan one, depending if you can, can or can't have dairy. Um, and this just helps you, of course, help, uh, to hit your protein and to do it in a really clean, healthy way. And then Fabric resistance band, I'm really big about that. It just is a really good staple to have in your workout regimen. So I send this to you as free gifts, whether you join on the payment plan or pay in full, but if you pay in full, you'll also get a little bit of a discount. So I'm gonna offer you ladies this until Friday. So you have a couple of days if you wanna talk to me, if you wanna think it over, um, but yeah, thanks so much for coming to the presentation. Um, oh, and I just wanted to say, because I know a lot of ladies might be feeling like, oh, but it's about to be Thanksgiving, it's about to be Christmas, whatever. Um, and I just want to say that 
that's kind of coming from a diet culture mindset, which is that like, I can't do Christmas and I can't do Thanksgiving if I'm also going to get fit. That's not true. Here's me eating pizza and having wine. I do these things too. Um, so you can absolutely still be doing Thanksgiving, still be doing Christmas and still be doing this program. Cause the point is, you know, you don't have to be flawless every single day. It's, it's about the overall consistency and you can definitely, and if anything, this is going to allow you to actually enjoy Thanksgiving and Christmas more easily because we're going to be speeding up your metabolism. So you're going to be burning more calories all the time, which means you're going to be better able to, to digest all of that. But if you just feel like very overwhelmed, like there's no way that I want to start with Thanksgiving and Christmas, that's okay. And we can just postpone your starting until January if that's what you pre would prefer to do. But I just want you to know you definitely don't have to feel like you have to wait. You can get started right away and still enjoy Thanksgiving, still enjoy Christmas. You can have both. So yeah, if you are interested, this is my offer for you for coming and being on live and coming through Kelly. Thanks so much. And if you do have any questions, just let me know. You can message me on Instagram. I have YouTube. I have my website. Um, and I will definitely will answer any questions that you have live right now. Awesome. Thank you so much, Megan. Um, and I just want to kind of add to what I had said when I first started this, like, I know a lot of the beauty business base are probably like, this is such a weird thing to post in this group because it's not business related, but really it has helped me personally on both a professional manner and also personally. So um, when I first started working with Megan, I actually had done a couple of competition preps. So I was like in bikini competitions, doing the two hour cardio thing, my calories that were at like 1200. And so when I worked with her, I was like, I can't even eat 1800 or 2000 calories. Like you're crazy, Megan. So that was really like the most difficult part. But when I started being consistent with it, not only did I get results, but my energy was up. And this is only when I've been consistent though. Like when I'm up and down with it, you know, everything kind of goes to shit. But when I am consistent and I make it a habit to be able to do this, it just feels so good and so, so easy. And it's something that I've been able to sustain for the most part over the last like year and a half or so. So I just love bringing you, Megan, into my community because I normally, again, don't you do this, but because you've changed and impacted my life so much in both professional and like personal ways, I really thought it would be good, especially with like the new year and stuff, bringing you um, into the community. So people who have questions about this or concerns or anything can reach out to you. Um, can you type your Instagram into the chat box so people can just kind of click on it and maybe follow you now because you are a great follow. And as you're doing that, I'm going to actually add it here into the group as well. Um, I know I saw some comments, so I'm just going to peep this really quick. So Tracy said that um, that's good that you work with all ages because she's 56. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say because it's just such a myth that, oh, I'm older, so I can't get results. Like, that's just not true at all. Um, and honestly, there's no better time to get started because, again, the secret really is building muscle. It's not weight loss. Like, what you actually care about is muscle gain. Muscle gain is what is going to allow you to lose the fat on your body, but also keep it off, be healthy, be strong. Um, and we do start to naturally lose our muscle mass as we age, even by about 30 years old, we start to decrease it. So, I mean, the sooner that you start to focus on getting back muscle and getting more than you ever have, the better, and you can do it at any age. It does not matter. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some like really incredible women. Um, they're like nice and toned and they have nicer bodies than like I do, <laughs> you know, because they chose that life, you know, they chose that lifestyle at that point in time. And some of these women are like 50, 60, 70. So, um, I think the biggest thing and my biggest epiphany in working with you was that this didn't have to be a temporary thing. Like it didn't have to be something where like I signed up for a competition and, you know, literally didn't even get the results I wanted on stage. Like I look back at photos and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I just, I didn't like who I was and how my lifestyle was even at that moment in time. So the fact that I have a son that I could bear a child and like be consistent for the most part and sustain this like look that I have that I'm really happy with. I think that just says a lot in like what you're doing with women. So I appreciate you. Um, and if you guys have any questions for Megan, I went ahead and put her Instagram here. 
also there is an application to work with her. So if you wanted to um, sign up with her program, or if you wanted to, you know, maybe hop on a call with her or get more information, you guys can apply using the link that I put inside the chat. They should be in both chats now. So um, other than that, I want to thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Megan. And hopefully we'll see you guys in her program. And you guys will have bomb ass bodies in 2023. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for having me, Kelly. Thank you so much, ladies, for coming live or watching the replay. I hope you learned a lot. And definitely don't hesitate to reach out if you have any fitness, nutrition, mindset, any questions at all. I'm super happy to help. Yeah, that presentation, by the way, like I was going to tell you before you cut off was amazing. Like I, you broke down some things for me, like a lot of those things, but having it all in one presentation, I was like, what? Like that's, that's what that means or that's what that is. So I learned a lot. I appreciate you so much. That was like very eye opening. Oh, good. I'm so glad. And I yeah, hope the connection didn't disconnect too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad and I hope you all learned a lot. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys later. Bye, thank you.